Chantel, new TCD member, she should be here in about an hour to do a self tape. She sent me a text last night. Uh, I guess the last minute one came through. No problem. I love that our uh, I love that our members can call us and text us, and we're gonna respond right away. Especially with something with a self tape, you don't want to stress about that stuff. You know, just making sure that you have a place to do it. Uh, I think just alleviates a lot of stress. This way, you guys can concentrate on just knowing your lines. Sunday is definitely one of my favorite days over here. I get a lot done. Uh, I can do the schedule for this week. We have uh, practice auditions three days a week, and then Thursday is our first uh, like marketing power group that we're doing. Last week was the technically the first one, but we just got to know each other uh, just to get an idea of like what we're looking for, and I think we did that. Me and Christina were talking about this like four years ago. This came up, and it was like members were messaging us and contacting us through Facebook, email, text message, uh, tweet, Snapchat, Instagram, uh, any kind of platform out there that they could use to get in touch with us, they were doing it. Uh, sometimes uh, members would send a text message, a tweet, a Facebook message, and an email, all like within 20 minutes of each other. So last night, one of our clients sent me a text, said she needed a self tape, wanted to know if I was available today. As far as self-tapes go, dude, whenever, I will drop what I'm doing to come and do a self-tape. Sometimes it sucks to come in on Sundays when that's a day that sometimes I like to stay home, but I work for myself. So it's not that you work 24-7, just you kind of have to be available 24-7. So it has its ups and downs. I prefer it this way. So I could see how some people would be annoyed by getting a text. Late at night on a Saturday, it wasn't that late, but getting a text at night on a weekend about coming in on a Sunday to do a self-tape for someone. I think it's amazing. It actually made me happy to get that text. I think it's cool that clients can reach out to us whenever they want to get a self-tape. It just shows how much we support what they do and they support what we do. We work together, they get a great product, we get a customer and the company grows. Awesome. We're about being accessible and being available to our clients, the people that we serve. The support is kind of what they're paying for. The self tapes and all that stuff, great services. But the fact that we're there for them and supporting them, I think that's what a lot of artists lack in this city, in this industry. So, especially now, I feel like it's pretty hard. And it's always been really hard, but I feel like now it's tough. So tonight, me and my wife are going out. It's kind of like a date night, an inexpensive date night. You know, times are tough. Uh, so I thought it'd be cool to go to where we went on our first date. It's this place called the Harvard. And there's this like funny joke that we have between us, you know, like who kissed who first. Christina seems to think that I went in for the kiss first. That is true. But she literally was like this. I mean, I could have just went like this. Or I could have kissed her. Those were my two options. So you guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Thank you for tuning in to episode number 13. This is 13, right? Yeah, this is 13. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>